Okay. So again, happy December, everyone. Want to say uh, this is a great month uh, for us to go out there and start spreading the message about 7K. I hope everyone's doing great. I hope everyone had a great uh, past Thanksgiving holiday. If you're here in the States, if you're outside the States, I hope your holiday season is doing well. And, uh, you know, again, I want to really stress to everyone that I think the most important thing that every single one of us has for two reasons is just belief in the value of what we have. Because if if you really understand what we've got our hands on right now, each one of us would be telling everyone. But sometimes because we feel like we're in the minority, that the masses out there aren't pouring into the business, you know, they're coming in once they see it. But they're not just, they just don't get it a lot of times. People just don't understand the need for gold and silver sometimes, it seems. And it really is, that's why we need to educate people. And if our belief and conviction in what we have is strong, we don't need to have that so that we can sell them. That's not what this is about. It's not about us going out there, being able to convince anyone or being able to answer all the questions. What it is, is it's conviction that we have that comes across in our body language, in our posture, and people will believe in us. You know, if if people, if you get done doing a presentation and you turn to someone, you say, what'd you think? You're dropping the entire decision in their lap that either they say, yeah, I like it or no, I don't like it. That's a lot of pressure on someone because they're not in the masses yet. People haven't heard of this. So if they say something against the masses, then all of a sudden they're alienated. Maybe they said something bad or stupid. And so the reason why I'm saying this, everyone, is that if we have that conviction, then we come across that. Like, for example, at the end, we can say, can you see a value of getting the membership? And we're saying it with such conviction, they can see it because people look to us to make sure they're making a good decision. It's the fact. It's just the way it is. And so we want to make sure that what we are is we're telling people, uh, our, we're being honest with people, first and foremost. I think this is so important that honesty is the best policy when we're sharing 7K with others. People want to see someone who is authentic. They want to see someone who is real bottom line and just be you most important thing unless you're just got a very bad personality and people don't like you <laughs> and if that's the case try and change your personality and you know make yourself likable so you know this is really the time of season that you know we want to go out there and bless people something i'll mention again that uh to everybody we went out we bought a bunch of these little things i know that my my thing there my back there is blocking it out but this is a one tenth ounce little silver coin. It's a silver round that we're. I'm going to go out there and I'm going to maybe use this as an incentive for people who may want to come to my house for a for a, a home party that maybe I can share with them what I'm doing. This little thing costs five bucks. It's on our products page. It's a great little gift that I can get out to people. I'm not going to just go hand them out randomly. That's just a waste of money. But it, <laughs> excuse me, but it is going to be something. Then I've got something here that is of value. This is the time of year people are out giving gifts. Why don't I have something that at least I can walk around with, knowing I've got it in my kind of in my holster in case I ever need it. And when you're going out doing your Christmas shopping or doing whatever, when you're out and about, I encourage you, don't go out with the intent to recruit people. Don't go out with that. People will see it. They'll see going to see it when you're looking around like this. They're also going to say, I've seen people go out with clipboards, like they're going to do a survey and they're walking around like this. And then all of a sudden they see you and you make eye contact and here they come. And it's like, oh, and so you don't want to be that person. Just be the person who goes out and makes a friend and just talks and listens. Matter of fact, you're not going to necessarily, if you're out and about during this holiday season, you're not necessarily going to prospect everybody you talk to. Like I might be looking over and I might see Robert and say, hey, that guy is sharp. And I go over and I start talking to them, but I find personality wise that there's nothing in common or something like that. I don't necessarily have to say, hey, you might like what I've got to show you. I'm just going over there to make a friend and just feel it out to see if it works. And that's the same way that we are, everybody. Just go out there with just the mentality of spreading joy this season. We really need it. This world needs it. If you're just listening to the media, everything's negative. Everything's doom and gloom. Let's just go out there and spread love to everybody just by being nice you don't have to go out there and, and have something to give them or anything like that but just go out there and just keep your ears open keep your antennas up and listen for needs that they may indicate such as maybe form maybe they want to spend more time with their family maybe they're dissatisfied with their work whatever it might be 
Um, and so I want everybody to enjoy this holiday season. But remember, there's a bigger purpose to what we have here than just us going out there and building a home business and making money. And that's what I'm hoping to really help everybody with. Um, this is all stuff that I've really analyzed myself over time. I really wanted to understand what is it? How do we get people to really understand and see what we see? And so let me first off start off. Here's a disclaimer just to put out there for everybody before I get into this training is that I'm not an expert on uh, financial planning. I am not a tax specialist. I am not here to predict what gold and silver are going to do. I'm going to tell you everything in here is my opinion. And everything I'm going to tell you about building a business is stuff that I've experienced. And again, it's my personal opinion. So let's get started. This is, think about this, everybody. What are people thinking right now? Because if we can understand what people that we're sharing this with are thinking, we won't get frustrated if they're ghosting us or if they're just not seeing what we see or they don't have time to look at what we have. You know, this is a very busy time of year. So a lot of times people's focus is elsewhere. But when we do get a chance to share with them, when we do get a chance to sit down with them, the key thing in their mind is going to be the value versus the price. If the value outweighs what they feel in the price in terms of their the way they perceive it, then that's going to be a service or a membership benefit or that they're going to get. However, if the price seems to be heavier than what they see as perceived value, then they're not going to see it. And so we even have to create a little bit of value in getting their time in terms of sitting down and taking a look at what we what we have. And so how do I often do it? I'll often try and sort them by asking a question that such as, what are your thoughts on gold and silver? Or what do you think about what's going on in the economy? You know, do you, what are your thoughts about what's going on? And if any of the, this indicates like, oh man, it's terrible, that's opened a door for me to now say, hey, listen, I might have something that might be of interest to you. And so keep that in mind, everybody. We have to create in their mind, not in ours, because they don't, they haven't seen what we've seen. We have to create in their mind something of value that is bigger than the price point. And they shouldn't even know the price point before we have an appointment. That's important. So let's get right into this. This is what's going on in the world. We have inflation going on. We have our dollar, which who knows what's gonna happen with that. We do know that they're printing it like crazy still, and it is losing its value on the world stage. On the world stage, a lot of people are not even seeing the, the dollar as something that they, the world is looking to de-dollarize. So these are needs that we have that we're helping to fill people regarding getting their hands on this. We have something that can hedge inflation, and we also have a way to protect against a dollar that might not be that stable. Now, this is a way to look at it perspective-wise. Everybody is going to do actions based upon one of two things. They're either going to do it to gain pleasure or to avoid pain. And sometimes when we're reaching out to people and we're talking to them, in their mind, they don't know the perception of how good this membership is. And so in their mind, they're thinking, oh, they're selling something. I'm going to have to spend money. And they see pain maybe in their mind. That's why sometimes I sort before I actually ask them to take a look at what I've got. But because I might find out that they, you know, what are your thoughts on gold and silver? Oh, gold and silver need more of that. Listen, there's something I'd love to show you. I don't know if it's going to be for you or not, but I'd love to get your feedback on it. Can we jump on a Zoom? Can I, can I take you out for a cup of coffee? It's as simple as that. I don't say anything more than that. If they start hitting me with questions, I'll say it has to do with gold and silver, but I can't really do it justice by explaining it. And if it may not even be of interest to you, let me just buy you a cup of coffee, take a look at it and give me your feedback. How's that? Sure. They hit me with more questions. That's a great question. That's why I want to sit down with you. Worst case scenario, you get a cup of coffee. Okay. And that's it. And so you, what I want to do is I want to now get people to understand that there's going to be pleasure in sitting down with me. Now, if, I, if you're trying to get your team motivated, you want your team to go out there and work, then what we need to do is we need to get them to start looking at when they share this with someone, they associate it with pleasure, not with someone just rejected them. That's honestly speaking, that's why a lot of people quit the business because they go out, they share it with someone. Someone says, no, I just don't see it. And they quit thinking, taking it a lot of times personally. Now, if we sat there and said, listen, you have to go out there and get a lot of these no's to get that yes. But if you do, this is the reward on the other end. And they can see that they have the long-term vision to see what they're going to be able to gain out of this. Then they can look at each one of those no's as really pleasure as it's one more step closer to that person who's going to see this. When I take a look at the world, I take a look at the massive population that we have right now, everybody, 
in the seven country or eight countries in which we're open, I look at that and I'm blown away by the number of people that are actively out there doing this. And everybody out there needs gold and silver. And we have the best way for them to get it using a digital wallet where they get storage. And you're going to see the value in this as I go through this membership. So, I mean, this just blows my mind. And that's why we got to have the mentality that it's water off a duck's back if someone doesn't see it. We just say, hey, listen, great. Thanks so much for taking a look. I got to go. Even if they say no, we never want to get in convinced mode. We want to say thanks and then walk away because when we do that, we're now making them even more curious. Why didn't they try and convince me? Why didn't they sit there and try and make me see it the way it is? Why am I not being, why are they not trying to close me or sell me? Okay. You want to be that person who's kind of like George Costanza on Seinfeld said, you do the exact opposite. You don't need them. You need the person who sees what we see and you're going to waste your energy and it's going to drain your energy trying to convince those that you know need it, but they just don't see it for themselves. So don't bother wasting your time. Go on and find the next one. They will come back to you later. We need to sort as fast as we can. We need a lot. We have a lot of lives that we can save everybody. So consider everything that I just shared with you, everybody. People are now feeling more pain. And if we take a look at what could happen with our monetary system, this is not meant to scare anybody. But if we look at Venezuela as a history historical example of fiat currency, then there's a lot of people who could get blindsided if our dollar continues to lose purchasing power. And so that's why we want to teach them why there is a way to protect themselves. And again, gold and silver is the best way. Consider this, everyone. Banks and governments are buying it by the tons. And that mean, that should open up all our eyes to say, you know what? We need some of our own share and we all get it. So I'm preaching to the choir here, but I'm just saying this all for you to really just say, understand that even though the masses don't sometimes see what I see, this is just so such a no brainer to me. And I have to have that strong conviction because I'm going against, I'm trying to show someone against what the masses out there sometimes believe. Consider this. Now, we all know this slide, but I want you to really consider the ramifications of this. Look at the value of silver and gold over time. Now, we don't look at silver and gold as investments. We never do that. They don't want us to compliance wise. And we don't want to say that anyway. You know, Andy Schechtman, who I have a ton of respect for, I don't know him at all. He's not even affiliated with our company, but I know he knows his stuff, calls silver and gold, gold true wealth. That's what really money is based upon, is silver and gold. That's the monetary system. And so look at where silver and gold has sustained its purchasing power over time. 1965, 2,500 ounces, $2,500, it basically would buy you a brand new car, either one. And what I might encourage everybody to do as a marketing tip is have, yourself, have with yourself some silver. And I keep it in a little pouch like this. And I even have silver eagles. I also have some rounds in here. All of this is stuff that I got from 7K. But the silver eagles came from the Sound Money wallet. Now, I'll tell you the big advantage of this is that I can sit there and pull out this and pull out this. And now I've got something I can show to somebody, an actual dollar bill. And I can also show uh, the actual silver eagle. And when I'm showing that, everybody, they can now relate. So this right here says a dollar. This right here says a dollar. I go in and give either one to a bank, it's worth a dollar. However, this right here, if I want to go in and buy it, this is $34 because of the silver content of this. This is stuff most people don't know. And so again, 2,500 ounces in 1965 was $2,500. They were equivalent. But in 2021, 2,500 ounces was $67,000. $2,500 was $2,500. Look at the difference in what the purchasing power of silver did over the paper money. And that's why if we had only gone back in time, or if we could, and flip all of our way that we were getting our cash and changing it into gold and silver, each one of us would be in a completely different position right now. But we weren't educated on that. We can go, go out and do something about it now. Same thing with gold. 2,626 ounces is 169 grand. 21 years later, it's gone up to 1.2 million. I mean, think about this. This is where money systems are based around. And I will tell you, everybody, if you take a look at the supply and demand for what is needed in silver, when everybody's going green, when you have the satellite dishes and also the solar panels, and you have the Teslas and the electric vehicles and all of that that silver needs to be used in, 
And now you have average people out there getting their hands on it. There's only so much supply and demand. And this is why if you take a look at the numbers, which we all know, in my opinion, are manipulated, then when that supply and demand really breaks and that bubble pops, then I'm expecting personally to be very satisfied with what, what my silver's value is going to be. And that's just my personal opinion. So I want everybody to understand this, why it simply makes sense. It's common sense to have a 7K membership. And I'm not saying this to make anybody feel like they're dumb if they don't get one. But I do want people to have that conviction that, hey, this is just simply, this makes so much sense. Come on, look at this. Hey, and if you don't have that conviction or if someone says no to you still and you have that conviction, you thank them with a smile and you walk away because you know what? I mean, you're still going to cover their objection. You're still going to find out what maybe they didn't see, but you're not going to plead with anybody. And you're not going to try and convince anyone because there's too many people out there praying for something to come along. And so I want everybody to consider these three different options of our membership. We have our basic plan, 149 with a monthly auto saver. You get a silver coin. There's no renewal, but you can only store up to $1,000 in that in terms of metals in the vault without having to pay for it. Your stack and sell for your collectibles is limited to 10. Your VIP, which is your second, this is an annual membership. This is 269, but you get a collectible coin with that and it renews each year. This will allow you up to $50,000 in storage of your silver and gold within a private vault, full security, fully insured within that vault. This is something I will tell you, it's very smart to have your metals stored because you don't want to have them on hand in your home if chaos were to happen in our world. You don't want to have people come in and be able to rob you, be able to take everything that you have in terms of your assets to be able to live. So it's good. And Robert Kiyosaki says this, it's only smart to have it stored. So you're getting up to 50,000 stored, no cost to you. Beyond that, you can get more, but it's just going to cost you a fee. The legacy VIP, same thing. Collectible coin, $599. There's no renewal on this. That's it. And you're getting up to $50,000 in free vault storage. Think about this. No renewal and up to $50,000 in free vault storage and metals. This means that with this plan here, you could pay $599 once and be able to keep your metals stored in a vault of the highest security and protection and not have to pay for it as long as the value stays under $50,000. That's unbelievable. And in addition to that, in the legacy plan, you have the ability to be able to earn when someone that you personally refer to this membership, you have the ability to go out there and earn a metals bonus when they buy metals in the sound money wallet. Now, I'm going to show you some things. I want you to consider this. This is our stats. These are some of our stats. Our legacy VIP metals bonus. These are some of the people that have gone in and bought silver and gold. And in about a month's time, we have earned $471 in gold and silver purchases within our wallet. We didn't do anything other than refer people who went in and bought silver and gold of their own doing. We don't even know who it is. All I know is that we just get these bonuses that come in. And that's nice. And we know that people are getting protected. Now, there's going to be a lot more people who are going to be going out there and getting that. Now, here's the important thing, everybody. This is for the legacy VIP members. If you're not a legacy VIP member, you can always get it, okay? It's up to you to, to get it down the road. If you're not there yet, let's help you build your business so that maybe you earn enough money so that you can go out there and get yourself to this plan. You're gonna have plenty of time to be able to earn some uh, additional medals from other people, but I just wanted to show you so you see the value of what this membership can provide for you. The legacy plan costs us $5.99, we've already earned back $471 worth of metals in one month. And again, I'm only showing again, this is gonna be different for everybody, different on the amount of people you personally refer, whatever your purchases are, all of these are disclaimers, but I'm just showing you this. Here's the next thing. What else are we getting for value in this membership? Well, if you take a look at what the US News and World Report says about college prices, 42,000 for ranked private schools for a year, 24,000 for out-of-state uh, people, uh, students to come into an in-state college and for an in-state tuition, about 10700 a year. Now add that up. And there's not much you can do with one year worth of college. You can't really do a whole lot in terms of the education. With our plan, our membership, you get a buyer certification, uh, certification training and a collector certification training. 
two education platforms that are teaching all about gold and silver and collectible from experts, very important information pertaining to stuff so we can set up and protect our assets for our future. And our maximum cost to access this is $599. People could access this for $149 with our basic plan. And so all of the value is here, regardless of whatever people have for their desire. Now, in addition, you're going to be able to get uh, this particular website. Now, this website here, I don't know what this is, but I'm going to skip ahead. We have in, inside your website, what you just saw is your self-replicated site that you get. So you have your own site. And in that site, you have a section where you can go in. They can shop for jewelry. They can shop for non-collectibles. They can shop for different sorts of collectibles. All of that. You've got your own e-commerce site. We have our own digital wallet backed by the physical metals. Watch this real quick video. This will give you an idea about some of the benefits that we have, additional benefits we have within this plan. Check it out. That digital wallet, I will tell you, everybody, one thing that we learned recently is the fact that there are two companies, v, uh, I think it was one of the major, ma uh, either MasterCard or Visa, I believe it was Visa, actually offered a billion dollars to be able to buy our sound money wallet, be able to flood it with some of their own customers. And our founders rejected that because they wanted to give it exclusively to us. So this is such a benefit. Consider this, everybody. I looked it up. The personal private vault storage, if you went through Vault Max, which is where we store our, ours as a commingled vault, these are the prices of them. If you were going to go out there and just price it out on your own to have your metal stored, basic, midsize, uh, or um, the larger one. However, with our private vault storage, you can have up to $50,000 stored at no cost, fully insured, multi-layers of security, non-segregated for $599 one time, or any of the other plans, whatever the cost is for the year. Take a look at this as, as to what it would be each year if you were to do it on your own. And so there's nothing wrong with these prices, but I'm going to tell you what, everybody, the value that people are getting by having the storage here is outstanding. Now, our auto saver, which are our collectibles, these are coins that literally we have sent to us each month. It's a way to have disciplined savings. Sometimes people are going to be like, well, I don't want to get my coin. I want everybody to consider this. If we didn't go out there and have this coming in every single month, where else would we be spending our money? I know in Danielle's case, my case, we'd usually go out there and blow it on something that wouldn't be beneficial or saving us for the future. Now we're getting some amazing coins. Just check out the four or now soon to be five replacing one of the other auto savers so check this out
right. So you see value there. Now, as far as what are people going to do with these collectibles? Well, that's where the stack and sell comes in. Danielle did a great video on this. I'll show you this. It's about one minute. When we first got our membership with 7K, we had to be convinced to take part in the monthly auto saver, the disciplined auto savings. We're so happy that we did because I'm going to show you. Initially, we didn't know what we were going to do with these collectible coins. We're like, how do we sell them if we want to sell them? Well, 7K ended up launching this amazing platform called Stack and Sell, where we can go in and we can actually scan our coins. They all have a barcode and it acts as your inventory so you can keep track of your coins. It's an appraisal, so it tells you what the current market value is. And it's also a marketplace where we can buy and sell the coins. Now I'm gonna show you what happened with that first coin that we had to be convinced to get. We got it in December of 2020. We paid $139 for the Montana Butterfly. Already today, the market value is up to 1,054. Now I can't guarantee what any coin is gonna do, but I can tell you from our experience, diversifying in the collectibles has really made a huge impact in our offensive approach with gold and silver. All right, so now you see that. And I want you guys to check this out. This is another benefit. This is it, This blows my mind. In addition for people getting that auto saver, that discipline savings, We've got our 7K Advantage discount program. Now, I just went and I looked up stuff today. This wasn't from today. I put this together last week. So these are numbers. I just randomly put in the dates of December 11th through the 15th. Uh, today, I went in and looked in January just to look at some comparisons, and it blew me away. Look at the differences. When I compare Las Vegas, like, for example, I put this in. Now, this is the total price from the dates December 11th through December 15th. I only put in four stars and above for the hotels. Well, the first one showing is the Sahara Hotel. The entire trip would be $120. Comparatively, on another site, it would be $304. On this one here, the Virgin Hotel is $302 compared to $706 or $616. That's over a $300 savings. And if you take a look at the Venetian, $1,100 compared to on the low end, $2,300. That's $1,200 they're saving on a four-day stay. Now, look at what we did in Orlando. Same thing. Walt Disney World Dolphin, $1,194 compared to $71.88. I mean, how many, this value right here, everybody, is going to cover the cost of your membership for years, especially if you're getting the all inclusive one, the one that's a legacy plan with no renewals. $444 versus $826. 367 versus 783. Here's London. I even want to do international. So I just looked up London and, and I just randomly picked these cities. You can do the same. Look, the Treehouse Hotel. I know nothing about it, but it's 2294 as compared to 3833. 843 versus 1370. This is the total cost of the trip. I mean, this is a lot of savings. And so consider this, everybody. This benefit here. If you're getting an active auto saver, number one, it's going to cover the cost of the auto saver through your savings alone, because there's also benefits that we have here in the United States. You can calculate them up using a savings estimator on that site, and you'll be able to save on all of the resorts. And in the U.S., you get all these other places that you can save on food, serve on, on uh, save on services. Look at Roto Ruder Plumber, forty dollars savings on that. You go to the closet factory, you have $100 savings, all of these different savings that add up on regular everyday stuff. They don't even necessarily have to do with gold and silver, but they're part of this membership. And you get someone seeing savings, everyone, you get them using this benefit here. They're never going to stop using this the membership because they're going to love it. Whether it's even an annual one, they're going to keep renewing because it only makes sense with the savings that they're getting. Now, in addition to what everything I've shown you, our company mints its own coins. Now that stands out. I want everybody to think about this. Our coins that we mint are currencies of sovereign nations. Do you know the red tape that a company has to go through to actually print money? That's what we're doing. We're minting money for countries. Now that means that our com company had to go through all the scrutiny of all the regulatory agencies. We've got attorneys general who've gone and looked at our company with a fine tooth comb. We've actually had Ken Paxton, one of the top attorney generals in our country, in our entire country, say to Jason, our CEO, that he loves what our company is doing. This is a guy who's notorious for having shut down other companies who haven't done it that have been above board. 
and he's saying praises about ours. Look at these stunning coins that only we get access to. That first one right in the front, Pearl Harbor, that sold out in about 15 seconds. When that was released, that sold out in 15 seconds. That's an $850 coin. There were people who wanted that coin out there, collectors. There still are across the country. And the only way they can get it is from someone who bought it or able to get their hands on it. Same thing with every single one of these that you see up there. They're exclusive to 7K. We have access to them. In addition to all of the benefits I've shared with you, we earn loyalty points. We earn chances to get actual free silver. Now, you can earn collectibles by earning loyalty points. How do you earn loyalty points? You earn them by just getting an autosaver each month. You earn points that way. You earn points when you introduce another member and they get started. Now, these points will accumulate and you also can earn points in other ways too. I'm not gonna get into the details because that'll get uh, confusing, but I want you to take a look at the coins you see on this screen. Every one of these coins were coins that Danielle and myself actually earned through loyalty points. We redeemed them. We didn't have to pay for these. This Tomb of the Unknown Soldier coin up here is over a $1,200 coin right now. The Arizona right next to it is right now, I think, about a $400 coin. The Julius Caesar on the bottom, that's close to 1000 And all of these add up. The total value of these, just as we calculated here about two months ago, was of over $6,000 worth of coins that we had earned for free. We didn't do anything. We just went out there and we're getting coins on a regular basis and introducing other people to the concept. This is another benefit that we're getting. Now, consider what a person would have paid to get access to this. $599 or $269 for the year, renewing each year, getting a collectible that's giving them value immediately, and they have access to everything that I'm sharing with you. I mean, it's unbelievable. In addition, they can earn by sharing this business and this membership with other people. Now, think about this. Most people out there, many people out there would love to be able to have an extra $250 to $500 a month. It'd be life-changing for them. And I want you all to listen to Josh Anderson on this particular slide because he gives you the philosophy of our company. Listen to this. So what does ours do? It's really simple. You make one cell on the left and one cell on the right. That's it. If you can do that, if you do what the industry says is average, which all of you are way above average because you're on a Friday night uh, on a Zoom call, okay? Uh, if you can do that, you can make $500 a week, $2,000 a month with us. That's what your potential is. And that is our premise. How could we build an engine? How could we build a company where the non-professional could win, where there could be real assets in people's hands? It's that simple. I mean, people try and complicate this all the time and and want to help get us to make it more complicated, but that's it's not. It's just that simple. Now, if you're above average and you're like, you know what? I think I can do way more than that. Then you're probably somebody that's going to be able to make $1,000 a week with it or $2,000. Or like a lot of your leaders that you have on here tonight that are making $7,000 a week every single week. Okay. And, uh, and 3,500. You know, I'm looking at some names here on the screen, right? And, and I know your commission checks. And I, I, I don't go out and tell them to the world for you. That's up to you if you want to. But I'm not going to. But I'm seeing several people on here that make $2,000 a week and $3,500 a week and $7,000 a week. So you're above average, right? But that, I'm sorry, I'm not going to pick on you guys, but we didn't build it for you. You're a byproduct. You make your $7,000 a week and your $3,500 a week because hundreds of other people in your organization are making $500 a week. And that's why we exist. Powerful stuff. Think about that, everybody. We are there. This is something that can help the masses. You want to make a difference in people's lives, everybody. What better way than go out there and just introduce them to information that can show them how to protect the money they've worked for, how they can earn additional money with a concept and a plan that is designed for the masses who don't need to know everybody, but can go out there and teach a simple concept of helping to get to. You know, I've been, I've been reading a lot of the Bible lately, and I will tell you, Jesus was the best networker out there. Just simply going out there and just teaching a simple concept and getting a lot of rejection, but at the same time, just staying consistent overall. And I'll tell you, that's one of the biggest things we have here, everybody, that's being built is the community at a time right now when there's a lot of people who just need it. They're, they're out there and they're scared. They just don't have as much hope as maybe some of us have right now. Maybe there's a lot of people out there who are just watching things and they have no idea what's going on. 
And that's why what we need to do is go out there and just be vocal, get the message out of saying, listen, you just need to take a look at this. I don't care. And my honest feeling, everybody, is I truly don't care if people don't get this membership. I would love them to get it because I know it can help them. But I appreciate them tremendously if they'll look at the information. And then after that, you tell me, no, hey, listen, I'm grateful. I'm super grateful because that's all I needed to hear. I just wanted to make sure that you saw something that you at least knew this existed. And so I would just tell everybody this, you know, it's it's the holiday season. So it's a time for sharing. It's a time for helping. It's a time for giving. And if you're looking around at what's going on in the world, everybody, I truly feel that there's going to be some changes going on in our world. And we've got to get people at least being aware. We don't want people getting blindsided by banks closing. And then all of a sudden they start doing things as bail-ins, which we all know they're coming. They're telling us they're coming. The FDIC is telling us they're coming. It's on a video. You can look it up on YouTube. It's in a hidden me, a hidden camera or a message that from one of their private meetings. And they put it out there. If the people outside these walls knew what we knew, that's what they're saying. It's unbelievable. And so I'm not saying this to scare people. I'm saying this more that everybody, we've got to understand. I will my sometimes the biggest thing that holds me back still today is I might be feeling, I don't want to bug that person. I don't want to be the guy who just calls up and oh, you just call me about business. I have to get over that. And every single one of us has to do with that as well, because I'll tell you why. If something were to happen and other people who are don't understand what's going on in terms of gold and silver and how they can help people against hedging, what's going Yeah, already in New York. Exactly. Um, if they don't understand that and I didn't tell them, they're not going to be grateful to me. Like, for example, you know, if I if I'm going out there and I want to help Carmen or I, I don't tell Carmen, I'm like, oh, Carmen, you know, I don't want to bug her. You know, she's a sweet lady. I don't want to I don't want to bother her with this. You know, she, she's you know, she's she's probably wouldn't be interested anyway. And I don't tell her about it. And then all of a sudden so, something happens where Carmen's bank fails or something like that. And Carmen's panicking and, and all of her assets, maybe even her retirement plan was in that. And now it's she's got to go through all this process of even trying to recoup some of that back and stress levels through the roof. And how do you feel now if you didn't tell her? Do you feel grateful that maybe you didn't bug her? Or do you think maybe we should have just done that reach out and just said, listen, you should take a look. And then if they reject us for that, we say, hey, listen, no problem. I just want to at least let you know what I'm doing. We've shared this. I've shared this with people all the time who have no interest. And I get off going, I don't get it. You know, I don't, I don't get what they don't see, but okay, whatever. So I just, we just move on, find the next person to see it. That's why 1% have precious metals. <laughs> Think about this. If everybody saw it, the game's over. Our, it's done. Everybody's silver's all bought up. Gold's all bought up. We're out of, we're out of business. If everybody saw what we saw, it's over. That's why we can't get upset about people not seeing what we don't see or what we see. They will see it eventually, and it cannot come from our mouths. Everything I shared with you tonight was not for you to go out there and oh, do this all over everybody. Because if you do that, they're going to look at you. They're not looking at those slides. They're looking at you. That's the last thing. I don't want you looking at me. I put slides together so you're looking at the slides. I'll just read the slides, tell you what's going on there. I don't want you looking oh, Mark, oh. uh-uh. The slides. The slides are based on accurate information of what's going on out there. Same thing. With you, you're just simply the messenger. You bring the people to the table, you show them the message and you watch them. Here's the key. I'll tell you, freedomgoldrush22.com is, is one we use all the time. You can use the app, whatever you feel good with. But here's the best thing I would tell you, everybody. Here's my probably my best advice. Learn how to share a video with prospects on Zoom. Learn how to those little tweaks. We've got it in best training tips under the launch section. You'll see how to do it. But learn how to you know, make your audio and video so it works the best. Learn those little skills. Because once you learn that, if you can sit down and just show those videos, you can kill this business. It's, it's easily, it can easily be duplicated. Anybody can do it. And you don't even have to know the answers. Because as soon as you're done showing the videos, you say, hey, listen, Mark, or listen, Robert, Kathy, whoever, can you hop on? I'm in the middle of, the, uh, I'm on a Zoom right now, and I've got a good friend, and they just saw the video. Can you? Take a couple minutes, pop on, share your story. Sure. Okay. And then we pop on. Hey, 
What'd you see? Well, I know that you've watched the fiat currency video. I know maybe you watched the Y7K because that's kind of the system that we like to teach. So I'm ready to go. Okay, yeah, let me tell you my story. Hey, this is my story. Great, listen, do you have any questions? Great, talk to me a little, tell me your story. We build a little bit of rapport. He asks his questions, I answer his questions. My person who shared it with me, you, for example, you don't need to know anything because I'm gonna answer the questions for your prospect. And here's the thing, even if you do know the answers, I still would recommend that you get me or anybody on. It doesn't have to be me. I'm just talking about someone else because it's third party. It shows them support and it shows them that someone else besides you gets this. I hope that that makes sense, everybody. The power of third party is everything. We've got to bring in other people. That's why if we went out, we had a Zoom and we had 150 people on here, even if people had no idea what the message was, they'd be signing up. Fear of loss because the masses just get all that support. We've got the same thing. Going into 2024, we've still got the end of this year. You can put yourself on Rest and relaxation. I'm going to rest through the holidays. But I would tell you this. I would put the pedal down because all you're doing is sharing. Last thing I'll mention, and then I'll open it up. Tax benefits of a home-based business right now are excellent. You sign up someone. Let me say for show you again. I'm going to use Robert as an example. Let's say he enrolls. He gets himself a legacy membership for $5.99. And he decides he's going to go out there and he's going to start sharing this maybe with others in a very spare time basis. Well, that $599 is a, I'm not giving tax advice, talk to your accountant, but it's a write-off. It's a deductible expense because he's starting a business. And there are other expenses. Again, you want to talk to your accountant for the specific things you need for records on this. But mileage, maybe Robert's going to drive across eight states to go visit family. Well, you know what? If he now wants to go and talk to his family about his new gold and silver business by simply saying, hey, listen, what are your thoughts on gold and silver? I want to show you something when I get there. That can now be a legitimate business trip. And that can deduct the cost of the mileage of that trip. I mean, do you know what that can save people? Folks, there's no way. There's so many benefits that people have in this membership. And the idea behind this particular thing here was only to build in you a strong belief and conviction that, man, everybody's going to get this. And if they don't get it, hey, I just got to go find the people who do. You cannot ever doubt yourself. You cannot ever question yourself if you're sharing. And sometimes people just don't see it. Our objective is we've got to get them to see what we've seen. We don't have to overwhelm them with all these benefits. I overwhelmed you with a lot of benefits today, and I didn't even get into most of the benefits. This is a lot more than even behind that. I just showed you a few of them, but look at the value you got out of that small amount. This is ridiculous, everybody. There's no company out there giving the value that we're, that we're giving. This is ridiculous. I did this thing for me because I'll tell you, when I was looking at that, I'm like, this is, this is nuts. Look at how much we're saving. Look at how much we're saving. Look at how much we're saving. And if we can save it, you can save it. And if we, you can save it, they can save it. And there's no loss. How, who's losing? The paper money that we have is losing value by the day. People in all these other companies, nothing against them. I love these other network marketing companies. I buy products from them. But everything they're doing is based upon this. The products that they're getting for sourcing their ingredients is based upon this. Okay. So think about what we have here, everybody. I'm done, but I wanted to mention that to everybody because I want your fire in this holiday season to be up, not going out there with commission breath, trying to just get everybody in board, but going out there more with making friends and meeting people and having fun, okay? And then just helping people by filling a need or something along the lines of that. Every single one of you are talented beyond what you can even imagine in your own head. I promise you that. And I see in all of you things in maybe your potential that you don't see in yourself. But that's where you just got to sometimes, and I know that people in corporate feel the same, but that's where you got to buy into our belief in you. And also know that if someone rejects you, pff, next, find someone else who sees it. You are throwing a life raft to somebody who is drowning. They may not even realize they're drowning, but you're throwing them something. And if they push it away, throw it to somebody else. Don't bother keep trying to convince the person to jump in who doesn't want to be saved. Can't save everyone. So you just got to keep doing your thing. And those people that you at least planted that seed with, it's now notched in their brain. Okay. Oh, Tony. So Tony's doing gold and silver. Okay. All right. Notched in my brain. Now they see a silver commercial. Oh, okay. Now they see something in, on 
Fox News talking about Robert Kiyosaki. Oh, gold and silver. Okay, that's it. Tony was talking about gold and silver. And, they're gonna, and then they start seeing other things on Facebook. Then someone else approaches them with 7K. And now all of a sudden, all of this stuff that Tony brought to his attention initially that they blew off, she didn't even necessarily have to do anything except drip on them by sending a video every now and then. And it's keeping it in the forefront of his mind or her mind. And then they'll come back to you. And in the meantime, you're not waiting on them. You're not saying, oh, I can't wait for can't wait for Tony to change your mind and get started. I can't wait. I'm just going to sit and wait for Tony. Uh-uh. You're out there every day planting those seeds and looking for the next person. Because when you have that mentality and you're building it with or without everybody in your team, people will follow you because they know you're going to the top with or without them. And you're blessing people because their your cause and your purpose is not based upon them. It's based upon a larger purpose. And that's whatever your purpose is, whatever your drive, whatever your why is, everybody get passionate with it. And let's go into 2024, knowing how many lives we can save and protect. And I'm not kidding about that. We are saving lives. You are in the minority that are people out there in the world who know about this company. No one knows about us. We can crush this thing. And once this thing takes off, you're sitting on a business that seriously is going to keep paying you on the efforts you put in. Build that residual income. Nothing like it. Nothing like it. Put in the effort one time. Build something strong. Going to take some effort? Yep. Going to be some disappointments? Yep. But we're all in the same boat together. So let's build it together. And with that, anybody have any questions? Anything you want to add? Anything anybody has any questions on? Will we wrap up? Yes. Go fam. All right. Well, I rambled on. And I hope that was helpful. So uh, with that, we have our next uh, the next corporate call coming up at 10. But I encourage everybody, go out there and get in front of people if you can. Go out there with silver in your hands. Get some from the wallet so that when you can drop it in someone's hands, just make sure they're not faster than you and wearing running shoes. <laughs> Take your silver and never see them again. Um, and then... Any other ideas that people have? Let's get together. Let's do this collectively and have fun. Kathy, go right ahead. Well, oh, you're muted. Hang on. Let me unmute. I apologize about that. Okay, go ahead. You can now unmute. Ah, that was a great share tonight, Mark. So thank you for that. G good stuff. Thank you. I mean, I really, yeah, it's uh, good reminders. Uh, we try to complicate it. It's so super simple everybody wins nobody gets hurt and i mean there's somebody out there praying for this right now we just don't know who it is so really um just kind of meditating and i know i know the who's on this zoom and you guys are a praying bunch and i really do think just committing this to prayer what we're going to do who we're going to talk to lord show me light my path show me who needs to hear about this today and I think we can really, really make a difference for somebody. Just imagine, I mean, literally somebody out there praying and this could be their rescue. That's pretty powerful. And at the Christmas time, you know, we just hope in the in the old retail days of having billboard, newspaper, TV, we just hope we got top of mind awareness. That's exactly what Mark's talking about. The media has got top of mind awareness going on with gold and silver every day. So just by you letting them know that they can get it from a safe and trusted source and you can help them with that process. People only want to know, can I do this? <laughs> Is this real? Will you help me? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, it's real. And that's what this community is all about. So super neat. Thank you, Mark. And I, I think we have got the coolest Christmas gifts within our membership. Uh, yes. And if you don't mind, Mark, would you share with everybody... I've been asked several times where you got your little holder for that uh, tenth ounce coin, which is so cool. Uh, well, would you the mind first sharing? Thing, that? The first thing I'll tell you is, and I'm going in to get more. Is if you <laughs> order them right now, I you they have them in packs of ten, fifty, and single. And I think the ten and fifty aren't selling anymore, so just singles. So they come in this, so you don't even need to go out and get one of those packets. It comes in its own little pack it on its own and then uh, just put something on it that's going to have some sort of contact information so that if you give it to somebody that you run into they still have a way to get back to you 
and I don't just I'm just gonna go out here you go here you go here you go here you go that's throwing away five this is five bucks I'm like I'm not gonna this has got to have value if I'm gonna give it to someone as a prospect they're gonna give me the time of day and this thing here is gonna be like hey listen if I give this to you I'm giving you something I'm giving you five bucks of my money and that might be not be a lot for some people for a lot of people it's a ton of money but I will say this right here, who knows what silver is going to do in the future? Who knows what this thing could be worth down the road and what this would be able to get? So, you know, you could even do something like this. Hey, listen, come on over to my house. Everybody comes over comes over to my house and just takes a look. I don't even care whether you do it. I'm going to give them free silver. They don't need to know it's a tenth of an ounce, you know. <laughs> here you go. It might look like a dime, but this is worth five bucks. So thanks, Mark. Yeah. Okay. And it's the time of year for giving. Everybody else is giving out skin care and samples of that. Give out money. But you don't have to do it if money's tight. I'm not recommending go out and do that. But if it's something that you got a friend you want to give to anyway, give them the gift of silver. Even something small like that opens their eyes. Something small doesn't have to be a big ounce to open someone's eyes this little tiny thing can open someone's eyes now if you have the loose stuff and these here you can get on amazon this little coin things just a little foam in the middle and what you do is you pop out based upon the size of whatever coin is that you're putting in there you can put it in here and now it's a little plastic thing that you can give them and these aren't expensive it's like i don't know i got them i got those and then i got these here's a square one Okay, so Danielle got those. I don't know if she got the round ones already. Um, those are sold out. Seriously? I should have gone and bought some before I told everybody here. <laughs> They've been asking for weeks. I, thought, oh. I don't know. Well, then go to your local. I will tell you, we have a local place in Maine. We can go buy a bunch of stuff that's like just tiny little silver things and things like that. I mean... It's awesome. You got the last two of 50. Jeez, good look good for you, man. Oh, kicking myself. All right. Well, let me actually I'm gonna check something right now. I'm gonna check something. Because those are a great. And if we never give them away, everybody, they're a great bartering tool, right? So let me see here. Hold on a moment. I'm going in to take a look myself. And, you know, again, I'm probably going to, I will say this too. Let me mention this, everyone. When I went out to California here, this was not this year. It was about, I don't know, last year sometime, maybe a year and a half, two years ago. But it was in the, it was in the late summer. And we were going to be doing, we were going out to the Loomers who are members here. And they were going to do a, I, we came up with the idea, hey, we're going to do a scavenger hunt, treasure hunt. And so we wanted to get small little pieces of silver that we could plant all over the different off the grid property they have. And then people go out and find it. They hide it. You know, they, they get it and they get to keep it. And I had Karen Meyer and us who went to multiple places throughout San Diego. And Robert, I know you, you probably know that there's a lot of places out there. And we could not find one that had any physical silver in the place. Not one. We went everywhere. The only thing that she was able to find was at a pawn shop. And it was a mixture. It was only like 60% silver. And that was it. And they were like a, a couple of uh, pesos or something like that. And so I'm telling you, everybody, the supply and demand is, you're not hearing about it. But you're, you're blessing people with this. So anyway, I'm rambling. I don't mean to keep going. So hope everybody had a wonderful night. You guys make this a great holiday season. Let's stay together. Let's have a holiday Zoom sometime. We can all get together and just, you know, socialize and have a good social hour. And we can invite on some prospects to make it fun. All right. So everybody have a great night. We had another Zoom coming up in an hour. And thanks, everybody. Thank you, Mark. Thanks, Mark. Bye, Thank guys. You. Great training. Thank you. Thanks, Mark. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, everybody. Bye, everybody. Awesome. Yeah. Good night, everyone. Thanks. See you in a minute. All right. Bye-bye.